Hi friends, I hope you're doing well today. I thought you could come along with me and get my level 40 mount. I finally hit level 40 as a troll hunter. I'm currently in the deep beast mastery tree, but I'm using melee weapons. It's just kind of what's good right now, as far as I understand. We have Heart of the Lion as our rune, Beast Mastery as our rune, Flanking Strike, um, Melee Specialist, and Dual Wield Specialist. On top of that, um, we've already got a lot of our best pieces from Nomaragon. So we've got the shoulders, the chest piece, the gloves, the pants, the blood lash bow, which is actually from Stranglethorn Veil vale Blood Moon PvP event, Cogmaster's Claw, and Mechatorx Arcano Shredder. So all in all, doing pretty good so far. Um, my next raid is on Thursday, so I'm hoping to get a few more things. I was a, a scout, but I accidentally killed a guard, so I am now a grunt again. I've already purchased my raptor riding skill, so we're just going to buy the raptor right now. If you didn't know, the price for... mounts and the riding skill in Season of Discovery went down today. So my riding um, skill only cost me 9 gold. And my mount, I believe, is 35 gold. Now we have three options to choose from. We can do the turquoise raptor, which I think is nice. The emerald raptor. Or the violet raptor. Honestly, green is my favorite color, but I kind of like the blue. Let's go with green. So we're going to get the whistle of the Emerald Raptor. We're going to learn it. Very exciting. I've been waiting for quite a while to get this. So where should I put it? put it on that one. So now that I have my raptor, I'm officially broke. <laughs> but I'll make money back soon. I had I had zero dollars the other day from doing the Nomergon profession quest. And I was able to get back up to 60 gold within the day. So it's not too bad if you farm quests and that sort of thing. Um, I have a few quests to turn in. Um, the Grime Encrusted Ring. And I'm not sure where to take it. Looks like I have a quest to turn in in Razor Fen Downs. And looks like we have a quest to turn in up near Ashenvale. So maybe we'll go there and turn that in. It is an old quest. It's from killing the rares in the barrens. So it's not really a big deal, but anything helps with money. And then we have this quest, which I don't believe I'll be doing since it takes, I think, several hours to do the escort quest. What I was thinking of doing for this video is going to Desolus. Is it Desolus? And farming, um, actually, is it Badlands? Oh my goodness. I was thinking of going to Alderman and farming heavy leather, because I'd like to finish my leather working. And by heavy leather, I mean thick leather. Where am I going to get that? 
I can make four guardian gloves, which will take us to 211. I'm just walking up to Ogremar now because there's no flight path from Senjin or um, Razor Hill. So we're just taking the long way, but we have our mount, so it's not so bad. I was waiting for it to go on sale, but I really, really hope that they do compensate people who already purchased the mount for the full price, which was, I believe, 90 gold. So that's more than double what I paid. So I hope that they get money back for that because it doesn't seem fair to lower the cost for people who already purchased it or for people who hadn't purchased it yet um, versus people who already did. So if you're upset about that change, I totally understand. On the other hand, I'm very happy because I'm really bad at farming gold <laughs> because I spent it. I'm kind of happy that my gear finally sort of matches because I have a two set. So for the two set, it's the electromagnetic chainmail and electromagnetic chassis. I also need the sabatons, I think. But basically, the tier pieces equip improves your chance to get a critical strike with all spells and attacks by 1%. And for having two pieces, I get 26 attack power. I don't really care for the three set, which is why I think the boots are actually not my best. I can't remember now. So let me really quickly just find out where to farm heavy leather. Or thick leather. in Badlands. Okay, well, let's go to Badlands then, and I believe that's gonna... we need to go to the other continent. I currently have my Hearthstone set to Booty Bay, so we'll go there, and then we'll fly up to Badlands, because I do have the flight point unlocked. I'm currently protected from the blood moon, and there's 29 minutes remaining on that. Um, after I got my bow, I kind of checked out, just because I don't love PvP, as lots of you know. But, I got the bow, even though I don't really know if it's very good. It has no stats on it. The only thing it has is chance on hit to increase strength by 50 for 15 seconds. I can't imagine that's better than just having stats, but what do I know? The main hand weapon I have also doesn't really have stats, like it has 2 strength and 3 agility. I do have dismantle enchant on it, and chance on hit, so decrease a blast of arcane energy, dealing 30 arcane damage, reducing all resistances by 45, and increasing all spell damage taken by 6% for 20 seconds. So it is like the the epic one, and then this one has 6 strength, 6 agility, 5 stamina. I also had the Vanquisher sword, but this one apparently beats it out just a little bit for melee hunters. I don't, um, I'm not like the best like theory crafter or anything like that, so I just allow people on the internet to tell me what items to go for, but I do have my doubts about, um, I do have my doubts about the bow, but I farmed it, so I have it. I also could have bought the, um, quiver for the bow, but I didn't actually get it because I thought I'll just make one myself, because I believe I get it a little bit later. Um, or it's the same amount, like it's it's a 16 slot, because right now I just have the 14. So, 
I didn't waste my coins on that. I might grind for the mount. I haven't decided yet. I personally, I do like the mount. Um, I'll put picture up on screen. But, um, I don't know if I have it in me because I'll need to farm a thousand copper. Wait, no. It's a hundred copper coins equals one silver coin. So I need a hundred silver coins for the mount to get one gold coin. So, uh, the math is mathing. It's a lot. Um, I, d I don't know if I can... I can grind through it, especially since the blood moon is very laggy, and if you don't get in a good group, it's, it sucks. <laughs> um, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. I did get some ir ir irradiated leather scraps, um, so I'm excited to get my leather working all the way up so I can make my bis helm, which is a leather crafted item. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're sitting at for, you know, items, skills, um, reputation. I'm not, you know, doing amazing. I'm trying my best. Um, and then skills, yeah, like we have all of our runes, which was took a very long time, um, especially the Dark Riders quest. Um, I think that was a melee one that I actually really needed. I can't remember now, but I have all of them just in case the spec changes again, or like what's best changes again. And um, as for talents, yeah, this is what I'm currently running. Basically, you just need to get Bestial Wrath. Because your pet is so strong, even deep in bestial wrath, it does more damage than if you went deep in survival and just used your fists. So, anyways, that's what I've heard. So we're we're giving it a go, and I was doing quite well in the raid. It was you know in the top five for the whole time, so I will take it. Sometimes I was top one, sometimes I wasn't. It really depends because I don't have any um, AoE on right now. So, because Carve would have to replace Beast Mastery, and Beast Mastery increases my pet's damage and health by 20% and focus regeneration by 50. So, it's really, 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 really good. Um, so, I can't get rid of it to take Carve. Um, <laughs> so, sometimes I'll do it if we're just farming trash. Um, and that's pretty good. And then I'll switch back to Beast Mastery for the boss. So usually single target, I'm number one in DPS, but AoE, I'm usually like fourth or fifth, to be honest with you. My boyfriend plays a Feral Druid, um, and he does really, really well. And I have some friends who play, um, a Rogue. They also do super well. I feel like most classes are, are really good. Um, I have a friend who does shaman tanking, and he is a great shaman tank. It makes me wish I <laughs> could shaman tank, but I feel like shamans have so many buttons. It's just a me problem, but... I realize this is kind of just like a long ramble, but you've ever played classic, you know that flying is half of the time. So I apologize, but I hope you're enjoying just relaxing with me and taking in some of the sights. We're getting to Badlands now, and then we're going to start farming wildlife in the area. There also might be some quests we can pick up to get some money. I'm hoping anyways. This is also a PvP neutral zone, so basically anyone can hit anyone. We're all flagged for PvP in this area. So if someone flags me for PvP, <clears throat> just know that I'm I will just die. 
I'm not a good PvPer. So, I do have this quest, but I cannot be bothered now that I got my Biz Chess piece. Because it was such a pain, I tried to do it one day and it was really hard. We can do the Badlands Regent run. I could use your aid if you're up for it. I am an alchemist of some note, and I seek your aid in acquiring some reagents from out <clears throat> found out in the Badlands. I need the following items to replenish my stocks. Five buzzard gizzards, ten craig coyote fangs, and five rock elemental shards. Obviously, you can get them off the beasties themselves if you're not the fighting type. Then find friends who are. Acquire these items for me, you'll get some coin out of the deal. Yeah, two gold. I'll do it. Anything for the money? You just need so much money in class. In WoW, I feel like. If you want to make any progress. Or not even progress, but just have like quality of life things. Okay, so we also have this quest here. Coyote thieves, have you spent many days in the Badlands? Have you felt its heat? Have you faced the beast that wandered its dusty plains? It's time you did. Craig coyotes are a tough breed, tough and bold enough to creep into Cargath and steal from our food supplies. Help rid the outpost of these thieves. Hunt Craig coyotes, bring, hunt them and bring me their jawbones. Bring the, me enough, and maybe I'll believe it when you say you know the Badlands. And bring Nika's report to Helgrim the Swift and Stoneheart. <coughs> okay. So, let's mount up and let's go kill some stuff. I have Aspect of the Cheetah, which is, you know, nice and all, but um, if something hits you, then you get dazed, so having a mount's really nice. I still have Gary. <laughs> if you guys remember Gary from the last video, I love him very much. He's still technically the best cat to have due to his attack speed. Um, not him specifically, but um, uh, cats with his attack speed are the best. Um, I love him, and he is a good boy. Oh, I don't have Growl on, my bad. The last time I was playing, I was playing with people, so I took it off. There's a coyote. I know I need the rocks too, but I apologize, I am still sick as of recording this, so my voice might kind of go in and out. I've had a nasty cold for three weeks. Uh, mostly just affected my throat and my voice. I haven't, you know, had a fever or anything like that, but man, it's been, it's been rough. I haven't really been able to speak very well. But I really wanted to come back and film for you guys, so. I hope you enjoy. Have to pause for coughing sometimes. I just did just then. I think Easter's coming up, or has just passed as of filming this, so I hope you guys had a nice Easter, or will have a nice Easter. I hope that I get to eat a turkey. I don't eat, um, red meat or, or pork, but I do enjoy turkey. I wouldn't eat any meat at all, but, um, my body can't absorb um, iron properly, so I do have to eat some form of meat, um, unfortunately. 
I tried being vegan for a long time. I had um, an iron infusion because, yeah, my body just can't absorb it properly. Um, and I have to go for those pretty regularly. I hope <clears throat> if that you never have to have one <laughs> as much as as much as it's, you know, not terrible. It's not fun either. I had a lot of side effects with mine, but I know a lot of people have no issue whatsoever. So if you do need them, I hope you're one of those people. It's kind of nice um, being here during the day because most people are working, so they're not um, online trying to kill me. Oh, he's cute. Servo. What does this guy want? Here in the Badlands, I've stopped to work on my latest projects, my shackles of elemental binding. When complete, they will allow mages to summon even more powerful elementals for use in even greater capacities. To start things off, I need small stone shards to test some of my newest defensive spells, along with a few gizmos I've pieced together. These shards are easily collected from the lesser rock elementals to the west of here. Could you bring me some? Okay. And... Let me tell you something about frost oil. Nothing can keep an engine or gears from overheating quite like it. Its cooling properties are extraordinary, and its longevity is a lubricant without equal. That's not all, it also aids in retaining enchantments on magical items. I need a vial of it to increase the magical capacity of my shackles, and make them powerful enough to stop our summoned friend from killing us all. Broken, a goblin friend of mine can teach you to make it, he's an Alteric Valley. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I'll go over there and do that, but I'll accept it anyways. Just a little rock. Looks like um, an eye, maybe? It's interesting. So now we have two quests to kill these, so let's get that done. I can kind of just hang around here and kill stuff. Depending on the drop rate, I may or may not get it done in this video. The coyote stuff drops quite easily, which is good. Mm, there's a alliance player, looks like a gnome. Soft bushy tails are good to get right now for um, Dark Moon Fair. Not sure if it's still on, but it might be. Right now, there's a 100% XP buff. So if you've ever been thinking about playing Sod, now would be the time to level. It goes up to level 39. I was thinking about maybe doing my Druid. I haven't decided yet. I probably will, but I was thinking of changing my Druid to um, a Boomkin. Mostly just so I can be a big old chicken running around shooting stuff. I thought that could be fun. And also, like, I'm doing pretty well on gear, so soon I might kind of be out of stuff to do in, um, on my hunter. 
other than farming gold and PvP. I have a really nice, um, keyboard, but it is extremely clicky, so I'm trying to keep it as low-key as possible to not annoy you guys. I know some people love it, some people hate it, so I'm trying to keep it in the middle. I've been getting heavy leather, which is fine. I can still use that. Oh, there's a hunter, dwarf hunter. I picked up some... I actually don't know if I've told you guys this, but I am gluten-free. I'm celiac. So, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I picked up some really delicious cheese jive gluten-free bagels, and I am going to eat one after this recording, and I am so excited. <laughs> Even though I can barely eat anything due to my stomach issues, the weight of my heart is food. <laughs> one day I hope I can learn how to make all the delicious gluten-free things. I'm pretty good at baking, but I'd like to get better at savory dishes. I make these really good toffee scorbit cookies, and they're amazing. I got the recipe off of TikTok, actually, and um, it's, it's my favorite recipe. It's so good. I absolutely love those cookies, and they're topped with flaky salt. And, um, I have a condition that I need to eat more salt, so I have a huge tub of, like, delicious, high-quality flaky salt. So, I just put it on everything. Gary's regenerating some health with Spirit Bond. It's only 1%. But, I mean, it still adds up, right? We're getting some thick leather, too. That's great. Okay, so we're done with our fangs, which is good, but we still need more jaw bones. We need 13 more jaw bones. I feel bad. <laughs> Even in video games, I don't like killing animals. But whatever. It's not real. <laughs> oh, we got the archer's jerkin of agility. It's got 15 agi on it. it auctions for quite a bit. So when you see the fire, that's me getting my strength increased by 50. Um, and yeah. Oh, turtle scale bracers. Cool. Some more waylaid supplies. I need to turn more of those in for some of the other perks that they have now. Haven't looked into it fully, but I have the rune and now I want to get to the next level because I think there's a bag that I want. Because my, I think I have, I have a 10 slot bag, then I have 12, 12, and then the quiver, which only holds arrows. I kind of wish that it would double as both. I guess I could just get a bag, but I like the increased ranged attack speed. So 
Oh. So many coyotes around here. My boyfriend also leveled up a warrior, and they look like ooh, a lot of fun. They do pretty good damage, too. I was, I was thinking I should probably have a second character, because my guild has two runs of No More Gone That Go, but I also like to play other games, too. Like, um, I've been playing Supermarket Simulator. <laughs> My friend messaged me the other day and he was like, you must be bored if you're playing Supermarket Simulator, but it's really addicting and I love organizing and like stocking things. Sounds kind of boring, I know, but I, I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's still in early access, so there's like a lot of things that you can't do, but the next update has some things that I'm really looking forward to. Um, I was actually going to play it for you guys, but unfortunately that would mean overriding my save that I have already. There's not, an, there's not an option right now for multiple save slots. So when there is, I will make a video because it's really fun. It's really relaxing. And yeah, I think you would like it. I wish you could skin the birds. I don't see why you can't. Is anybody playing the new hardcore mode? It's like self preservation or something. I can't remember what it's called. Hardcore is not for me. It's so, it's so scary. <laughs> Thick furry mane. It's probably just garbage, but yeah. Okay. Just throw all this stuff out. I just want leather and items. like a weird buzzing in my ears and I hope you can't pick it up on the microphone it doesn't look like you can but hopefully it's not there oh who is this man what do you do Sure, but how do I, how do I duel you? Well, I can't. I don't know, I must need an item or something. That's too bad. I would have liked to duel this rare. Maybe it's for like a, um, rune or something? I'm not sure, I've never seen him before. Hmm. 
I've been really into reading lately, and I really like, like, all sorts of things, but if you guys have any books that you recommend, let me know. Um, I got a Kindle, and I've become, you know, a Kindle girly, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And it's been really relaxing and nice to, you know, take my eyes away from video games and do something a little bit different. That makes it sound like all I do is play video games, but you know what I mean. It's been too cold to go for walks, which is like my favorite thing to do. So I've been kind of stuck inside. I also have a teeny tiny dog that doesn't like the, the cold either, so we just kind of hang out. Okay, well, let's go turn this coyote thing in. Because we got all of the jaws. And, yeah, I still need to kill these guys. But, and the buzzard. Actually, the buzzards are kind of hard to find, so I might... Sometimes I press the button for my pet to attack and it doesn't work. And he just stands there. Oops, I also forgot Aspect of the Viper was still on. money. One eighty nine. That's a nice collection of jawbones. Now these coyotes won't be tearing through our supplies for scraps. Well done, the coyotes of the Badlands aren't easy prey. Your deed shows me that you might just survive here. Well, thank you all so much for joining me on this kind of random questing video. But I hope you guys enjoyed and you found it relaxing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.